Hi, my name is Philip Rouse. I'm a radiologist at the Mayo Clinic, and we're doing a talk today about uh, the plain film, cardiac and vascular anatomy on the frontal radiograph. So let's get started. Learning objectives, they are going to be, we're gonna look at the normal cardiac radiographic anatomy. We're gonna correlate the chest x-ray with CT scan mainly, but also with uh, conventional catheter angiography, echocardiography, nuclear imaging, MRI, and also even pathology. And we're gonna show some abnormal cases of abnormal contours on the frontal chest radiograph. So we're gonna start with a normal frontal chest x-ray, a frontal chest radiograph, and there it is, nice and normal. And we're gonna look at these contours, and they are right here, we the SVC, the azygous vein. We look at the pulmonary arteries and the pulmonary veins together. Um, we're also going to look at the right atrium. This contour, which is the left subclavian artery, the aortic arch and the descending thoracic aorta, the hyla on the left, which in this case is mostly pulmonary arteries on the left, left atrial appendage, and the left ventricle. So. There's our eye in the sky looking from the front, and we can see that bump. And the reason you can see uh, this bump, which is in this case is the superior vena cava, the SVC, is if there's a tissue air interface, when you're looking from the front and frontal radiograph, you'll see the structure. So in this case, the SVC bumps against lung, and so it shows up as a, as a line, which you can see. So here's our chest X-ray, and then we're going to fade it out and we overlay a CT scan, a 3D volume rendered CT scan from the same patient. And you can see that that line really is the superior vena cava. It drains down into the right atrium. We rotate it around and you can see the superior vena cava draining into the right atrium. We spin around from the back. You can also see this little vessel draining into the SVC from the back, which we'll get back to. And there we are. and back to our radiograph. So, look at this case. This is not normal. What is this abnormal contour? In most cases, an abnormal contour in this spot would have to do with adenopathy or some sort of mass, but because the point of this talk is to show um, that that contour really is the SVC, we'll show this case. So, we fade away, we overlay our CT scan, we peel back, we peel back, and what is that? This is a congenital SVC aneurysm, is in a young woman in her 20s or 30s. I'm not sure why she got that, but you can see that that big structure is the SVC. We're rotating around, we're looking from the back, we see the descending thoracic aorta, now we can see the left ventricle and the pulmonary arteries, and we come back to the front, and there's our big SVC right where it's supposed to be. Look at this. This is a normal chest x-ray. However, four years later, this patient developed lymphoma. Now in the region of the SVC, there's an abnormal contour. There's too much soft tissue. You can see with that red arrow. We overlay an 18F FDG PET scan, which goes to areas of increased metabolism. So in this case, that mass is lighting up because it's using more glucose than usual. It's a lymphoma. And the left ventricle, which is the other region down there, lights up because that's normal. So you can see increased uptake in the lymph node. In that region, that abnormal contour, there is a mass. We peel away to the CT scan, and you can see that there is an adenopathy. There's mass encasing the superior vena cava. The brachiocephalic veins, which are the veins which drain into the vena cava, are dilated. And there are numerous collateral veins draining the upper body into the lower body venous system. So all these veins are abnormal. They're trying to bypass the SVC and get to drain the upper body into the lower body. And you see we go back to the radiograph. We overlay an angiogram. These are injections from veins in the arms. And you can see that the brachiocephalic veins here are dilated. And this 
arrow points to a little skinny line, not the swirly S in the front, but a skinny line behind, that's the narrow superior vena cava. This dilated squiggle in front is an internal mammary vein, which acts as a collateral and out anterior. The narrow one is the superior vena cava. This patient had collateral veins that you could see on their abdomen as the varices and all these veins are trying to drain from the head to the body. So what happened? A stent was placed there to open up that superior vena cava and relieve the obstruction. The person was getting uh, plethora in their face and their extremities. And if we overlay an angiogram, you can see that this stent is really the SVC. You can even see the trachea behind it. And it drains into the right atrium, which makes that lower part of the right heart border, which we get to later.